Okay, today we're opening up a box of DZ BT02 Illusionless Strife, featuring new divine skill units such as Blangnemire. And on the back, we've got Zorga and Amorta, which is another Keter Sanctuary divine skill unit. So we get two. So lots of cool, fun support. We did end up ordering a case of this set, so we will be cracking that open tomorrow. But for now, we're just gonna be opening up the box so you guys can see what's in this box before we crack open the rest. Before we go ahead and open up this box, we're gonna talk about our sponsor, which is 50 Cards. So 50 Cards is actually where I picked up the case, and it's also my go-to for Vanguard, Shadowverse, and other card game products that they offer. And my personal favorite thing about the store is the Nation Bundles. Nation Bundles are where you can pick up a full play set of every single card from a specific nation in any upcoming booster set, making it super easy for updating your decks without having to worry about, you know, oh no, this card from a year ago used to be a dollar and now it's 20. Well, you picked it up a year ago because you did a Nation Bundle. So that's my personal favorite thing about 50 cards. Go ahead and check them out and you can use code Nexus to get 5% off at checkout. And with that, let's just go ahead and crack this open. All right, got our box of Illusionless Strife, and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab our trusty safety box cutter. That was not a very, very good incision at all, but I think I got it now. Hook this up, and we got our typical stuff for our display, Bushy Navi, Vanguard Overdress anime, and Vanguard Day advertisement, along with our Bang Dream and Groovy Mix. And we got a couple of box toppers. So we got B Hero support, and then we have quintuplet support as well. So all the quintuplet support units, instead of it being in a later set, you know, we're getting it in set two. I'm actually gonna open this up real quick because I wanna see what other promo is in here. E hero and, okay, just Magnolia ride thing. But we'll be getting more promos as we uh, finish through the rest of the case tomorrow. So put those aside for the quintuplets. It's just the one card, no other promo in there. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and pull these out, put the box off to the side, and let's get cracking. So the main thing, obviously, that everyone's gonna be looking forward to in this set is all the Blangmeyer stuff. So I'm just gonna breeze through this real quick. And we got our first Triple R. This is a new ride line for Dragon Empire. Griandra. I keep getting the name of this card wrong, but it's this weird, like, restanding Vanguard deck that um, requires you to put another column into your soul. So it's a, it's a little funky little Dragon Empire deck, but uh, it's pretty budget friendly from my understanding. So maybe I'll put it together and show it off in some games soon, but got our first triple R. We're gonna keep it going with the next pack. A lot of Dragon Empire stuff. So we got our next uh, quintuplet card. This is the Keter Sanctuary quintuplet. Another rare and another rare. So it looks like the quintuplet cards take up a common spot, which is nice. So at least it's not pulling away from the rest of the rarity of this set, which is pretty good. Good on you, Bushy. It was a good call. And it going, that was the starter for the new ride line, a rare, and our triple R, which is our support card for Rezael. So this is Nibiris, which helps you fill your soul. Really good card. Once placed on rear by your grade three or greater Vanguard ability, this gets 10K. And then at the end of the battle attack, you have a grade three or greater Vanguard with Rezael in its name. You E-blast three, put this into your soul, draw a card, look at the top of your deck, and you can put it back on the top or put it on the bottom. So it's a really, really good support card because a lot of the Rezial cards do use a lot of soul, so this is a great card. Moving along. Let's see, some decent support there, rare, and another rare. So got some lyrical cards. This kind of looks like a black wing card for a second, but nothing good there. We've still got plenty of packs to work with. Pull some other good stuff. And we did get another triple R. So this is Cleric Star Demonic Lady Bitrones. So while I don't see a lot of people running this card in Blangdemar, I do see people running this in Drejeweled uh, just because when you place it, you can look at the top three cards of your deck. You can put one in your hand, one to your soul, and the rest gets put into your drop zone. So this way you can kind of be selective with your soul, figure out what grades you need, and then it's also filling your hand for a counter blast, which is nice. The second effect uh, is obviously for 
Alma Jestar. You search your deck for up to one card with a destroy in its name or up to one critical. Then you put it in your soul, shuffle the deck, and if you put a card into your soul, you choose a card with a different card name from this unit and grade less than or equal to your Vanguard. From your drop zone, you call it to rear. So it helps you uh, fill your board, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this is a really, really good, decent Dark States card, even for generic support. Going into our next pack. Ooh, Drag Resonance. So this is a card that's really good for all the restanding Vanguard decks. Gets auto when the scene is stand, your front row gets 10K for the turn. So it's an extra bonus, similar to like Persona Ride. So even if you Persona Ride with this, that's plus 20K, which is nice. So really, really good support card there. Energy Marker taking up the common spot. Rare and double R for B Hero. So we're getting B Hero support and there's a whole new uh, Brand Gate Ride line as well. So I'm gonna look forward to that. I really like this artwork for the new uh, Dragon Empire Ride line. It's really cute. Frame Rare, the Nova Grapple Arena. Shout out to Nova Grappler and another rare. Another energy marker, nothing and nothing. I don't even know what this, oh, it is Blank Meyer support. This is our grade two for the ride line for Blank Meyer, uh, grade two for the ride line for um, Omorta, grade two or grade one for the ride line for Zorga, uh, Dark States, double R for Lyrical and double R for uh, gear support. So for that new grade three ride line. Next up, common, common, common. Wow. Oh yeah, we get the new, uh, I forgot, we get the new um, Vergilla ride line for Dragon Empire as well. This is from the new Vanguard manga. So I actually am really looking forward to building this deck. It looks really cool. I love the artwork. I will for sure be building this. Um, so stay tuned for that. Oh, cool. Our first SR <laughs> right out of the box. So Kyoka support card looks Pretty, and then a rare and another rare. So that's also cool. I guess the SRs are not taking up a double R spot either, which is nice. So look at this. This is the, uh, the new manga cards come with these uh, order cards that are um, printed like this. So you can still kind of see the artwork, but the card effect is weirdly written at the top. Um, but this is really good for the deck. Helps you thin out your deck and you know gives it power so this is just a really good order card so the deck is really fun um i'm really looking forward to showing you guys what the list looks like pretty soon but continuing on we got uh more commons this is the grade one for bling meyer this is for soul ryan support another energy marker a rare and we got our next triple r which is impending karma so impending karma is a really good support card for zorga you call it from the drop it gains a crit so it has a lot of pressure on it and then it gets really big number and then you swing with it you and then you end up restanding it with zorga with the crit so this is a really good staple for the new divine skills orga so i believe that was our fourth triple r so we should be done with this box but you never know we'll see how it goes energy generator got another double r this is just makes it easier for you to search order cards as long as they don't have regalis piece in their name so good generic support Keeping it going. This is for the new ride line for like some new robot Gumpla looking deck. More quintuplets, rare and rare. So I actually was really hoping to get some more cards for the uh, new ride, for the uh, Brand Gate ride line. I love the artwork for the, the gear, the Gri, Gri deck, Gri Audra deck. And of course the uh, Vergilla deck. Look at this, the manga artwork is just so cool on these cards. Like, look at that. Look how cool that is, Vergilla. Uh, Triple R, oh no, sorry. This is just more uh, quintuplets support. This is for Stoakea. Uh The main grade three for Vergilla. So this is Act, Energy Blast three. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards and you bind it. Choose up to one grade two unit from your drop and you call it to rear so it fills your board. And when this unit attacks, you can choose one of your grade two rear guards and stand it. So it's kind of similar to Nirvana Deva in that way. But even though it's a rare, it's the main grade three for the deck. 
And we got a double R, which is Soul Iron support. So we're down to our last two packs for this box. A uh, good Blitz Order common. This is our starter with the actual skill as opposed to the trial deck. Uh, we got a frame rare for uh, what looks to be generic energy blast. You know, call this one drop zone card. Zorga support card. And this is a really good Blaine Meyer card. There's a lot of text on this card for it being a rare. This just makes it so your opponent can't ride or perform stride their next turn. So kind of locking them out of Persona Rider stride is kind of interesting. So it's a very funny rare. All right, last pack. Not expecting anything else, but it is, you know, possible to maybe get another triple R, but we'll see. Double R, we got broccoli spelled wrong. broccoli -ly. <laughs> You know, shout outs to the translation team at Bushiro. They're just doing this to mess with us at this point. And then the last card, wow, <laughs> we did get another triple R. And we got the cover card is Meyer. The Meyer skill is when it attacks, you bind two or more cards, up to four cards from your soul face down. Draw a card, and if you bound four or more cards, your opponent chooses two of their rear guards and binds them face down as well. This gets 5k until the end of the battle for every two face down cards in your bind zone. Then the divine skill, which is a little crazy, it's at the beginning of the guard step of the battle this unit attacked. If your bind zone has eight or more face down cards, you can have this unit gain a crit. And if you do, your opponent cannot call or play sentinels from hand until the end of the turn. Choose your opponent's vanguard, and until the end of your opponent's next turn, all of your opponent's and that unit's abilities are nullified. So it nullifies Reziel's revive ability. Your opponent cannot use Elementaria Sanctitude because it is an order card with Sentinel, so they can't play it. So basically it just gets a crit, gets a bunch of power, swings a face, and then crit, crit, GG, that's the end of the game. So Blingmire is a very silly card, and uh, our fifth triple R from this box. So in summary, for our pulls, it's gonna go over the double R's real quick. We got Apooch, we got Zaxxes, Rester, Broccoli spelled wrong, Ferris, and Ethel for Soul Rion support. Frame rares, we got Maga and Emo, pretty generic like Energy Blast, three cards. For Quintuplets, we got some basic cards. Uh, got the Keter Sanctuary and we got the Grade Three for Stoicaea. And then kind of just moving those off to the side. We'll get into the, the meat of the polls. Starting off with our triple R's, we got the Gri Griyandra, you can never pronounce that name right. Nibiris for Rezael support. Bifrons, which is an Algmajestar support card, but really good in Jejeweled. Impending Karma, which is for Zorga, gains a crit. And we got Blingmeyer, our main best pull from this box, one of the new divine skill units. And we got an SR in this box as well. This is Freitas which is a Kilka support card. Let's see you recycle Kilkas and magazines, so it's pretty decent and it looks pretty good as an SR. But that is it for the unboxing. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you're looking forward to from this set uh, and what decks you'd probably like us to show off in the future. But that's pretty much it for me. I'm Richard and I'll see you all in the next one. Just a quick reminder, we still have the rest of the case, which still needs to be unboxed. So we're gonna be unboxing that pretty soon. Justin and Miles are gonna be coming over. So it's just gonna be us cracking open some booster boxes and hopefully pulling some pretty good stuff. Pulling a secret rare or a DSR would be really nice. So wish us luck. And yeah, that's it. We'll see you all in the next video.